just the concept of sustainable living, we started thinking about it a couple of years back. I think from there on, we thought that it would be a good idea to have some level of, you know, something that we could target to. Um, we decided then that we would aim for the, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go for Food for Life Award. Um, we also looked at um, how, you know, what, what accreditation we could have otherwise and found out that in Lampeter, for example, in the Keredigion Council, they go for a um, healthy eating award. So we, we went for that as well. So we effectively tried to look at what was available and possible around and we targeted those things as sort of a goalpost for us to achieve. Uh, again, I think the fundamental issue with our food plan was um, how do we um, not just produce and um, provide it, but how do we engage people in it? And um, so we had to really broaden our horizons. So we started very much from, as I said, we started very much from our crash. Um, we started looking at what food the little kids get, uh, what knowledge, you know, how can we, um, how can we put in in their day-to-day -day curricula, how can we put something where they understand um, the importance of healthy eating? Um, so, for example, in the Kamadan campus, we decided to experiment with an allotment uh, scheme where we open that um, option for the nursery. Fel chi gweld tyn nôl fi fyny'n mae'r plant yn brysur yn um, pigollysiau i ni wedi plannu a gofalu amdano. I ni'n disgyn y broses cyfan i'r plant. Felly maen nhw'n rhan o plannu i'r llysiau, gofalu amdani, yn rhoi dŵr i fyny nhw, um, a wedi'n pan maen nhw'n barod yn, tyfu, yn pigor llysiau, yn paratoi nhw, yn, yn y gegin gyda'r staff, yn, yn cwca nhw ac yn bitan nhw ar diwedd y dydd. Ar saith mae sdysgu i gyd, maen nhw'n cael siŵr gymryd mas efo iaith, um, mathemateg, um, sgiliau personol a chymdeithasol, um, felly mae fe'n bwysig iawn fel rhan o um, cwricwlwm ni yma yn gan fawen. One big success we had is to do with the coffee. And we really looked at the whole thing in terms of from buying fair trade coffee to having recycling cups, uh, the cups, the disposable cups we use, but then also having cups like this one, which, which the university then um, invested in, in and actually getting these cups made. We then looked at the coffee beans, how could we not throw those beans? And then we came up with this compostable idea and all the used coffee beans are then um, distributed for anybody who wishes to take it. Fairtrade's been quite, um, we've been very keen to promote that for a number of years. All our coffee and tea uh, is fair trade in the university. Uh, all our um, restaurants and ho have got options of fair trade items. We promote fair trade, so we have the fair trade week. Um, we do fair trade pancake days for the crash. Uh, so there's a number of initiatives like that we, we're doing on the fair trade. Going back about two years ago, we were given a silver award for our lunchtime service. On our service, then we had to change our service slightly so that now we provide a selection of local seasonal ingredients. We also, the challenges that we find is that we can't do menus until the very last minute because we can only, we can only put out there what's available to us at the time. And, Although there's an array of uh, ingredients that you can buy at your local supermarket, locally this is not possible because most of them are imported. Um, got the gold award for our, our university banqueting, which means that a lot of the ingredients that we have to buy are um, free range, they're organic. Uh, we also got a better understanding of the food, our chefs really enjoy working with the local produce that they're given. Um, we're very proud of what we can provide on the plates. Um, we're quite passionate about supporting local suppliers rather than the big boys, so to speak, uh, to keep the local economy going, to keep jobs in the area. Um, it is challenging, but it's a good challenge. The benefits of knowing where our food from is, is quite simply traceability of knowing you may not know the farmer, but I may, I know the suppliers, I know all my suppliers. I recommend the suppliers to other, other, other sites. Um, it's just about building that relationship with your supplier so then you can, they can build it with the farmers and it, it grows, the chain grows. There's a definite benefit with using local food and seasonal food. 
If you buy something that's in season now, which is your root veg, it's fresher, it's cheaper, it tastes better, the vitamins and minerals are higher in it, they're not being transported halfway around the world, uh, so there's a huge benefit, huge benefit. We started initially last year, we started with Food Bank at the end of the year and asked our students and the university staff if they had anything to put in the food bank to take it. And we engaged with British Heart Foundation and Food Bank both, British Heart Foundation for the clothes, etc., and, uh, and distributed um, all the products that were, that, that were collected. Um, and um, it's across all the three campuses as well. I found that the staff um, have really jumped on board with what we're doing here. They feel proud of what we're able to uh, provide on a daily basis. Um, they really enjoy working with all the local ingredients that we're, that we're supplying them. It was very challenging to start because we got three different campuses to try and roll this out over three campuses where they were all doing different things and not working off the same menus and same, same suppliers. We've now brought all that together so everybody starts off with the same ingredients at the, at the, end, at the start of the day and it's far more beneficial to us all.